said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Good evening, everybody, and hallelujah to you. Everybody in here and on television, we come tonight to do but one thing. Lift up the name of the Lord and give praises unto his name. But before we get started with the message tonight, people, everybody hold on to your seats because we're going to have church tonight. But my wife and I are going to sing a song, and I want you all to get ready for it and praise the Lord for this. I was walking downtown one day, and I saw a man that just appeared to be an old wino sitting on the streets, telling the people about Jesus as they walked by. And because he was all ragged and dirty, people would just laugh and make fun of the old man and walk on by. And he said, because of the way I am, no money, no fancy clothes, no fine home and cars, a lot of people consider me as nothing and say I don't know what I'm talking about. But there's one thing that that man said that really touched my heart and stayed on my mind when that old man looked up to heaven and said these words. Listen to it, people. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I'm just a nobody Trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I've had so many problems in my life that I just couldn't deal with. So I started drinking, thought it would help ease my pain. And things got worse, so I said, Lord, I give up. I'm in your pain, and that's when my life began to change. But these people still make fun of me, and listen to me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just a nobody, trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I'm just a nobody. Trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. On the street, day and night, that's my life, that's my home. Ain't got nowhere else I can go. So I just walk these streets telling all the people about my Jesus from corner to corner to door to door but these people still look at me and say that he don't know what he's talking about but listen here mm, 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 mm. i'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody i'm just a nobody Trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Jesus saves, Jesus saves, he can save your soul. Jesus saves. Jesus saves, he can save your soul, save, save, save your soul, save. Say, 
We don't have much time, people. We only have a, about a half an hour to get all this out. So we're going to try our best to get it done, people. But everybody in here that have a Bible, use it. Now, we do use the King James Version. People that use these other books, I'm telling you, be careful. Be careful. They're teaching you lies, and they're not truth, okay? Because it's too much of it been taken away. Every book has been taken away. But Lord have mercy, this one is as close as we got. If you don't use a King James Version, you got the wrong book. Get that book, please. We're going to study a little bit in the book of Hebrews, and we need a little bit more encouraging of what we're here for. And the reason is your faith. And you can't see that, people. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. Let's get into the Word, and we're going to be bouncing around a little bit in Hebrews, but we're going to start off with chapter 11 and verse one. Listen to these words, please. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You can't see faith. You can't hear faith. That is something that you got to believe from the word of God. Once you hear the word, you got to have faith. You can't see that. You can look at a person and can't see what their faith is. But from the actions of us today, we're supposed to be Christians. We're supposed to be servants unto the Lord. And you don't even go to church. A lot of us just sitting here right now at home, just flipping through the channel, see what you can see. But I hope you stop at this one. You will learn something. Because we go and go in the book here in Hebrews. And let me show you something right here. Just, you know, it's the blood. That was shed on Calvary. We have that cross behind. A lot of people right here, right here, you can zoom in on if you want to. The cross is up there. You don't see anybody on that cross. Jesus Christ is not dead, people. He died and was raised again in three days. He's not on that cross. He's in heaven sitting with the Father. He's on the right hand of the Father. He is our advocate, people. We need him. Because we're down here, we don't do right, we don't live right, won't half tell the truth, but we sh we, we instant. I will pass the kids on that a lot. We want everything instant. We want it now. We don't want to wait. We don't want to read our Bibles, people. Look at half the churches today. People will not turn the pages in the book because it takes too much time. What do they do? Push a button. Pull out that laptop. Huh? Open up those books and look in there, and you're missing half the words you could have found. You go right straight to that verse.